sunny it is here, Dad. I'm jealous. We've had nothing but rain for days. Why don't we do a swap? You can come back and do my job, and I'll go on the exchange and go to the beach. <laughs> no way! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, when are you going to move back in with Mum? Uh, Monica, can we talk about that when you get home? Talking on the computer's so... It's just that you moved out ages ago. I thought you'd be back together by now. Oh, love, I'm really sorry. Your mum and I have been discussing that and... And what? Well, uh, we've been talking and we don't think getting back together would be a good idea after all. Okay, Monica, nothing's going to change. I know you're upset, but it really is for the best. Best for who? It's not best for me. I hate you! Ugh. Beach on Saturday, right? I don't know. I heard it's going to rain. We could do something else then. Yeah, mm -hmm. I fancy doing something different mm -hmm. anyway. Got any ideas, Monica? What? No, I couldn't care less. Hey, what's wrong, Monica? Nothing. Are you sure? Yes. I just think there are more important things to worry about than whether or not we go to the beach. Someone got out of bed on the wrong side this morning. Yeah, it looks like she did. Muy bien, vamos a empezar. Let's hear your essays. A typical day with your family. Monica, would you read yours first, please? Huh? No, I haven't done it. Why not? I just didn't! Monica, can we go outside for a moment, please? Ugh. You can all check your essays for mistakes. We'll be right back. What's the matter, Monica? Nothing. If something's upsetting you, it's good to tell someone. But there's nothing I want to say. OK, but I don't want to hear that tone of voice in class again. Is that clear? Come on, then. First question. What would you do if one of your friends started behaving strangely? A. I try to talk to them and see if I can help. B. Behaving strangely? All my friends behave strangely all the time. Or C, I wouldn't do anything. There's nothing I can do to change how someone behaves. Hey, Monica. What's up? Nothing. What did the teacher say? Did he get a massive telling off? What's it to you? Hey, Monica, we're just trying to help. And we can see something's wrong. What do you know? Stop bothering me! What do I have to do to get some peace? It was something I said, wasn't it? For once, Tony, I don't think it was. Always there, I'll be there for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 No! <laughs> Is that the new Mandy Minstrel tune? No. You've got to check it out. It's brilliant. You'll love it. Here, this is for you. I don't want it. We thought we could make a plan for the weekend. 
Now that's what I call a beach. Why can't we go somewhere like that? It looks amazing. Where is it? I don't remember. Hey, Monica, tell us what's wrong. Maybe we can help. No, you can't. No one can. If you won't tell us what's up, of course we can't. You're in a worse mood than Tony when his team loses. Are you saying that's not a good reason to be in a bad mood? <sighs> My dad said him and Mum are getting a divorce. Oh, but they've been separated for a while, haven't they? So what? I thought my stupid mum and dad would realise they can't do that to me and my sister. All they think about is themselves. How can they be so selfish? When my mum and dad got divorced, I was pretty angry about it. We're talking about my parents, not yours. <sighs> Second question. Your friend's parents are getting divorced. What do you do? A. I try to help and be a sympathetic friend. B. I'd leave them to it. It will all blow over soon enough. Or C. Nothing. I can't make their parents get back together. Poor Monica. That's tough. My mum and dad have been divorced for ages, and it's really hard at first. It might be hard, but I don't see why she's being like that with us. It's not our fault. And now, she won't even hang out with us. Yeah, and it's not all bad, is it? I've got friends whose mums and dads are divorced and they get two houses, two lots of pocket money, two summer holidays. And you have two brain cells. <laughs> 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 but what can we do to help her? If she won't listen to us, there's not a lot we can do. We'll listen to her. It's always good to get things off your chest. It's normal for you to be upset. It's like, why did they have to do it? Parents have no right to split up. It's not fun, I know. But when my mum and dad were together, they argued non-stop. Now, they get on really well. Well, if they're such good friends, they should get back together. But they're only friends because they don't have to be together all the time. I don't know. I just keep thinking that if I wasn't over here, they wouldn't be getting divorced. You know that's not true. But maybe if I'd been there, I could have talked them out of it. It's not fair. Why are they doing this? Because they don't get on anymore. Well, they should make up again or put up with it. They always tell me to make up when I fall out with someone. But when it comes to them... Hey! It will get better, you know. You know what? You should talk to your mum and dad and tell them what you just told us. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> here, pass it here. Pass. Goal! How did it go? She was calling her mum and dad as we left. So, what do we do now? We wait for her. Tony gets the ball. He beats one defender, then two, then three. He shoots. And it's a goal! He's a legend. A total legend. Love you, Monica. Thanks, Dad. I love you too. Kiss, kiss, Mon. You too, Mum. Thanks. Bye. Sorry I've been so awful to you. You don't need to apologise. But I have to apologise for every little thing. Why doesn't she? Grow up, Tony. How did it go with your mum and dad? OK, but there are things that still bother me. Like, what if they start going out with other people? That's the best thing that could possibly happen. Those new boyfriends and girlfriends will do anything to win you over. Tony, you're a nightmare. I'm practical. The key to getting on in life. The wise one has spoken. 
So talking to them was a good idea? Yes, it helped. But I still feel like screaming at the top of my voice. I think I know what we can do this weekend. Get ready to scream as loud as you can, Monica. That was amazing! What a brilliant idea, Lara! I'm having such a good time! I... I've never felt this bad in my whole life! <laughs> <laughs> Third question. If your friend was upset about a problem that you couldn't solve, what would you do? A. I'd be around to listen to them anyway and help them with anything I can. B. I'd make them look on the bright side and convince them that it's not the end of the world. Or C. I'd avoid them completely until they've cheered up. If you answered mostly A, you know you can't solve all your friends' problems, but you'll always be there to help them when you can. If you answered mostly B, it's great to make light of problems sometimes, but being a good friend means being supportive too. And if you answered mostly C, you could have more faith in your ability to be a good friend. Sometimes all it takes is a sympathetic ear. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs>